Richland School District 2 has sort of a think tank to develop ideas from faculty and staff. It is called R2 Innovates. Donna Toiber is the Innovation Program Designer. R2 Innovates developed about four years ago as an incubator to incubate ideas for teachers, uh, staff members in our district, and to give them an opportunity, if they have an idea, to make that idea become a reality. Any group with an idea can form a team and submit that idea to R2 Innovates. The incubator has processes and training to help the ideas evolve. In this phase, the different teams are gathered to show off what they have learned and developed in their respective projects. Sort of a progress report on what was once just an idea. We started off with flexible seating and that was our idea. We, wanted to, we knew that students learn differently and we wanted to accommodate their different learning needs. Ashley Williams is a member of the North Springs Innovators. Their objective deals with flexible seating, but it progressed to an even greater task. Once we got into the program and we started um, to visit other schools and um, see what their flexible seating looked like, we realized that it wasn't just flexible seating, it was personalized learning, which is where you are really focused on finding the kids' needs, their learning needs, not just their physical needs while they're learning, but um, how they learn best and um, giving them the opportunity to um, make their own choices while they're learning. Um, and so that changed the way we talk, the way we teach. It is amazing how that consideration of comfort led to an understanding and impact on how students learn. It is an example of the evolution that a project and participants go through. All right, everybody, flex. Our goal as teachers is to have them read for more than just five minutes without losing attention. And so they, I saw immediately that they were able to hold on to the things that they were reading longer and um, I'm talking about 30 minutes without an interruption. Students just comfortable and in books. And so from there, um, bringing the flexible seating, like allowing them to sit in the flexible seating beyond just reading, I saw that they were able to hold their attention more in class or focus on their work more because they were comfortable. Comfort, focus, collaboration, flexibility. All things to consider as one thinks about that space, once known as the library, later transformed into the media center, and now. I had a conversation with Donna Toiber, and we were just talking about, you know, how we do library, how the library is for, for us, and I just wanted to do something different. And, and I didn't know what, I just wanted to do something different, and Donna said, why don't you do our two interviews? And I said, I don't have an idea. <laughs> and so she said, that's perfect, you just come and will get you through the design thinking process and you'll, will help you come up with an idea. Lorena Swetnam is in a group of middle school media specialists. Our project is the Library Hub and our goal for our project is to make our Richland Tube Libraries future ready. So our goal is to make our libraries a, a space where all of our learners, teachers and students, come to create, explore and connect. The teams are provided time, meeting space, and other amenities from the district to scrutinize and develop their ideas. You know, it was really cool because I work really well with the media specialists at the middle level. We're a small group, there's seven of us, and so this was an opportunity to get together and talk about what we do every day during the school day, um, and we just got to brainstorm together which we don't always get to do when we're sitting at our meetings because this, the purpose of this, let's talk about what we already do and how can we make it better. Um, so it was good, it was fun, it was challenging, it was very frustrating, but it was great that we were supportive of each other. And you know, so we finally decided this is what we're gonna do, these are the steps we're gonna take. The step they took was to temporarily transform the media center into a hub for students and teachers to freely congregate and work on projects of their choosing. Participants are encouraged to wander from one project to another based on what is available and what interests them at the time. The goal of the district is to be innovative, to see what we can do and do it better. That's always been the goal of my school. I've always heard that and I see that in the district. So I think the support is pretty evident through this project. It really takes an idea from a spark to a flame. R2 Innovates is accepting applicants for next year. The deadline for entries is June 14th. You can find links to the application at r2innovates.blogspot.com.